Hi, I'm JW and this is my path to OCP. This is the second video for today uh, concerning preparation, readiness and tools for uh, starting and completing the OSCP course. I'm uh, basing this on three different uh, questions right now. I mean, I've gotten this same request in email, in uh, in IRC and so forth and I, I wanted to sort of uh, go through what my thoughts are for readiness for this course. I'm going to skim a few my messages I've received privately. Uh, I'm a 20-something year old software developer uh, looking to learn something new. I've only worked with uh, object-oriented languages, a little basic understanding of Python. Uh, what would you think is the best starting point for someone like me uh, who has the knowledge of coding but practically none about networking. Uh, and they googled OSCP and found about the uh, prerequisites about networking and so forth. Uh, second guy, I've been a sysadmin for 10 years and need change. Came across your blog, um, I'm doing a CCNA uh, course and I tend to learn Python. Would you think that's a good starting point for a career in InfoSec? And then a third email. Uh, I just wat uh, watched your uh, videos. I'm hoping to reserve lab time within the ni next 9 to 12 months. Uh, I currently am able to uh, navigate Gully, do NMAP scans, um, perform attacks on metasploitable VMs, uh, some understanding of uh, programming and scripting, little understanding of assembly, and uh, no job experience in InfoSec. Is 9 to 12 months with a minimum of 15 hours per week. That's a total of six to 800 hours. Is a reasonable, reasonable amount of prep time before signing up to, for the lab. Well, yeah, I would say six to 800 hours of prep time is plenty given that I it took me around 400 hours or 350 hours or something like that uh, of actual lab time uh, or lab experience, 350 hours. And I have a decade plus of developer and sysadmin backgrounds, uh, more like 15 years of sysadmin stuff. And I do work in InfoSec, so that, that helps. Um, for these guys, I would say that you are all coming from sort of good backgrounds. Like sysadmin is like sysadmin and developer are the ones that I would say are the most beneficial backgrounds for OSCP. Sysadmin because you probably know how to configure services and then you know and have probably made those mistakes yourselves about how they are misconfigured and you've left. Uh, security holes or found security holes and so forth and you can easily uh, use the skills that you learn in OSCP to better your sysadmin game also even if you don't get an infosec job. Uh, also the developer background is really really useful because then again you've probably made the same mistakes as other programmers make with buffer overflows and web application, SQL injections and so forth, because I surely have made those mistakes and it makes it more easy to attack those attack services then. Um, would I think that Python, learning Python is a good starting point for InfoSec? Mm, sure, I mean, whatever rocks your boat. Uh, Python is quite well, well used in InfoSec, but so is Ruby, like Metasploitable, uh, sorry, Metasploit is basically Ruby, uh, Ruby scripts. Uh, Python is heavily used in other places and as exploits, and I, I really like the language. Uh, but is it any, in any way a um, hurdle, uh, barrier to entry, mandatory? No. Uh, just learn some scripting, bash scripting, PowerShell scripting, um, Python, Ruby, Perl, AWK, PHP. Like, just get something that lets you automate things. That's a good starting point. It's more about hacking things together, 
not I don't mean penetrating, but hacking things together instead of being that this language is the best for infosec. Um, you've been uh, 25 for this uh, guy who's been a um, software developer and only programmed in OOP languages or object oriented. I don't think that's a in any way a bad thing. Uh, and learning Python or any other scripting language wouldn't be a big hurdle. Like programming is programming. Uh, you have different idioms for functional programming and object oriented and whatever. But the basic premises of uh, how things work, how the computer works, is the same. So I would say focus on the things that you actually don't know. Like choosing between different languages isn't important. But understanding how TCP and UDP work, that's important. Understanding, for example, for the sysadmin, understanding what's the difference between dynamic languages that are actually run on the web server, PHP, CGI scripts like Perl and whatever, versus what is run on the browser, that's a bigger th difference. Understanding how firewalls work for everyone, uh, understanding that there are things that can be dynamic, like for the, for Linux, fail to ban, um, and, and similar things, Symantec, uh, McAfee, whatever, they have other tools that help on the Windows side or prevent you on the Windows side. So just having a broad sense of all of these tools and uh, techniques that are out there, I don't mean that you need to be expert in any of these, but just having those, I mean, the listing of prerequisite information on the OSCP course page is really, really useful you should have basic networking, like what are IP addresses, what are subnets, uh, what's DHCP, what's DNS, uh, how does HTTP work, H how does SSL work. In, in general, I don't mean that you need to understand every single handshake of TLS versus SSL, whatever. Just understand that, okay, HTTPS is encrypted HTTP. So once you are able to take the encrypted connection, it's still HTTP underneath. Uh, what are the email protocols? How does SMTP work? How does FTP work? Every, all of these things are very important, but you don't need to get in depth with them because basically the lab guide will tell you what is necessary for those attacks. So for the guy who was asking that they're already comfortable with Gully and Nmap and so forth, and they're about to spend six to eight hundred hours preparing for this course, mm, seems like it might be better to just attend the course. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't over prepare. Um, what else? Python is a good good choice. If you're thinking about what should I learn, Python is a good choice. But ultimately, it comes to what tool suits your frame of mind. What tool makes it easy for you to think in that language? For me, I love Ruby, but I'm more comfortable doing bash one-liners or bash scripts because that's the thing I've most been using. But if it's Java for you, so compile your own programs. Like if you have that touch in your hands, there's no need to limit yourself uh, for something else. Like if you are a wizard with Java or C sharp, use that. Like don't limit yourself. Just use whatever tools you find easy or uh, powerful to use. Mm, other than that. I don't know. Read the OSCP prerequisites and really do consider whether you are, whether you have those prerequisites. They are not mandatory. No one's going to check them, but you're going to have a bad time if you don't understand the differences between TCP and UDP or IMAP and IMAP-S. 
like if you don't understand the difference encryption brings to the game. I don't know, bad examples maybe, but I hope this answers. If you have any more questions, feel free to send them. I will try to answer them. I think this will actually conclude this path to OSCP. So thank you very much for watching. It's been an insane ride. I'm really happy about this. Thank you.